Hey everyone, today we're going to look at how to daisy chain through Firewire. This is an update on a previous video that we've had here on YouTube for about five years now. The Firewire devices here that we're using are the Avastor HTX 1500 external hard drive, the Avastor XR4 rack mount RAID, and a DigiDesign 003 audio interface. For the first tip, we always want to use the fastest device as the first link in a daisy chain. In this case, it's the HDX1500 1TB or the XR4 since they both have FireWire 800. The 003 only has FireWire 400, so it should be the last link in the chain. To illustrate, if FireWire 400 is first in line, the devices next in line can only use that FireWire 400 speed, which is half of FireWire 800. If the FireWire 800 device is first in line, then you get the full use of speed. To reiterate, the 003 is the last link in the chain, the XR4 is number two, and the HDX 1500 is the first link in the chain. Since the XR4 also has a FireWire 400 port, we're gonna connect the 003 to the XR4 via FireWire 400. You could also use a FireWire 400 to FireWire 800 cable if one of your devices doesn't have both types of FireWire ports. Please note that you cannot use USB or eSATA in a FireWire daisy chain. Tip number two, once connected, power on your devices in the same order they are being daisy chained. Once all the devices are on and connected, you're ready to work on whatever software you need. Please remember though that breaking the chain while devices are powered on is a bad idea. Only remove a device once everything has been properly closed or ejected from your computer prior to turning off the devices. This can save you a lot of headaches. <laughs> 